Hello people, welcome to another exciting episode of Interview with Abhimanyu. Please subscribe to our channel and don't forget to press the bell icon because we bring awesome conversations every single week. If you are someone who likes the audio experience, Interview with Abhimanyu is now available on Spotify and CastBox. It's crazy good. My guest today is a bro from Jammu. In 2012, he, with his partner Rahul, started a Caribbean lounge in New Delhi called Rasta that took Delhi nightlife by storm. Today, in 2019, the Rastafarian Lounge is thriving in three major cities, Delhi, Gurgaon and Mumbai, and it plays host to one of the best musicians in the country. But he's not done yet. He's planning to expand even further. We spoke about the food and beverage industry in India. We spoke about some of the musicians that we like in India. And we also spoke about the potential effects of legalization of cannabis on his business. It was a very informative conversation, a must, must listen for all the aspiring entrepreneurs who want to enter the food and beverage industry. My guest's name is Gomtesh Singh, but everyone calls him Joy. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Joy. Welcome to the show, bro. Thanks so, you for inviting me. <laughs> so, I don't, so the thing is that I don't want to make this a formal thing. Though we try, we try that we have never formula with people. But since you are a bro like from hometown, so I don't want to make formal. But I just want to say one thing that I really appreciate, you know, you doing it on, a, you know, on such a short notice. So thank you so much for coming here. Thank you so much. Bas, it's not going to happen. Bas, it's not. Yeah. And welcome back to Pune as well. So, tell me your experience. You were here. I don't know, ages ago. I was here between 2004 and 2007. 2004 for three years, I did yeah. my graduation from here. Hmm. Okay. I hope it's not compulsory to take the na- name of the university or anything. Yeah, no, of course. You were in Simbi, right? Daddy, <laughs> 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 take the name. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I was in Simbi. So, mine was uh, the first batch of BB. Right. When Simbi started. So, at that time, Pune was very different, and today, what I see. What this city has become is a very, very... In a good way or a bad way? In a fucked up way, that's what you want to say. Uh, <laughs> no, it's just uh, each one to its own. It, it goes like that because some people like the fast life. Yeah. Some people like the slow life. And Pune was always a retired man city. Right. Right. Yeah. Army people retiring in Pune, like mm. Chandigarh was. Mm. And uh, college students in Pune, all yeah. of those things. But now it's become a proper metro. Right. So, yeah. I remember there was no, uh, what do you say, the, half of the bridges never existed, <laughs> Okay, half of the roads never existed right. and traffic was still fine at that time, yeah. it wasn't that bad. So, but, uh, so what do you think, is it the amount of people, increasing amount of people, that thing changes a city, that has changed Pune, because I think so, I think so. India, okay? yeah. Population, come so, on. <laughs> So it's like, you know, a paradise that turns into, I don't know, a crowded paradise and then it goes down to drain. I think that's the case with every city in this country. Too. Yeah, it happens. Yeah. We guys are multiplying faster than we <laughs> so, yeah. Anyway, so Rasta. Yeah. I want to talk about Rasta. And I do not say this from a friend's perspective. I say this as a customer, a consumer. So, <coughs> I believe that uh, when you first started Rasta, Hoskas Village, Delhi, right? That was the first yeah, place. Yeah, that was the first, that was the first place. You did not enter the Delhi nightlife. You cracked it open, bro. You cracked it. Why would I say that? It's just why. Because uh, I think that since I was in Delhi at that time, and I came to Delhi when uh, you had already been there for two years. Yeah. Yeah. So every, not just weekend, weekdays, Wednesdays, you know, every other day, there were... Bheed hoti thi waha pe. Like gorgeous women. Not to be saying like that. But yeah. <laughs> but, but yeah, you know. Beautiful yeah. women. And beautiful crowd. And you knew that everyone is going to Rasta. See. Wow. Because I was the part. I say that. Uh, I say that because I was the part of the bheed. Right. So I know you had like a huge opening. And what I really want to know is that. Uh, since you had success with your opening. You and your partner. Uh did you research and did you come up with because a lot of aspiring entrepreneurs would be listening so I just want to know that did you think about a USP that you know no one has tapped into or you, it was your passion the Rastafarian yeah. culture so uh, when both of us started this uh, and, uh, when we entered FNB right okay so we wanted to give an experience that we thought was lacking in the market Right. Like as customers, when we used to go out to places hmm. and we used to think that, okay, this is missing, that is missing. 
be it from the smallest things of being a clean outlet hmm. or a faster service hmm. okay or a a more tasty dish hmm. so from those angles we never thought it from an operational angle we always thought it from a customer's angle okay that as a customer what would we want to have or how would we want to be treated at hmm. a, in a place okay so we try to fill those gaps hmm. because it was easier for us to do it because we we had no professional knowledge of it right okay we want we want from fnb background and so what that does is that that broadens your horizon bb doesn't count mb doesn't count that's because not that that's a, that's a management skill right. okay? that's not that's not specifically uh, oriented towards fnb okay so that's why <clears throat> we didn't know the rights and the wrongs of the trade at that mm-hmm. time once you do a degree in a certain in a certain field mm-hmm. you know the rights and the wrongs right, right? we entered we were freshers we never knew what is right for fnb what is wrong for fnb hmm. okay today seeing a lot of people seeing the industry a lot of bar owners or restaurant owners are not personally involved also not at all yeah a lot of them yeah are not involved but a lot of them are involved also. yeah i i know so yeah. that is what that is where the the line that that is where we drew a line you like okay we want to do it this way hmm. we will do it this way hmm. that's it and then yeah obviously the more we learned the more we limited ourselves yeah because then it happens okay the industry norms or the industry standards are different mm-hmm. than what we do right so it limits your approach towards things uh-huh. so that's that's what worked in our favor in 2012 right. when we launched it mm-hmm. because we were completely fresh right and uh, the second thing that worked in our favor was uh, delhi's market mm mm-hmm. it was opening up at that time. Really? I still I still oh. remember like oh. in terms of music in top ter- I'm not talking in terms of experiences right but in terms of a proper proper lounge bar catering to music okay before us there was a bar hmm. TLR the living room oh. yeah. that was in Hoska village right. okay since 2007 when it opened hmm. I have been I had been going there regularly I was a regular there and I used to love that place hmm. so that that was there a lot of artists a lot of musicians started their careers from there right and so a lot of the, them started their career from rasta also okay. but yeah that is that is what that is how it started actually See, but i'm really interested or keen to know that how did the rastafarian culture influence your usp uh <clears throat> okay it was a business decision that we took okay. to open a caribbean place right because when we started thinking about a core usp or a base huh. at which we'll open a place or a lounge right at that time we had rock places in delhi we had commercial places in delhi hmm. we had places playing bollywood we had places playing edm right all of that but none of the places used to promote or play reggae reggaeton dance all these kind of right uh, and were you personally inclined towards such music yes. before you started yes right. reggae yes i've grown up listening to reggae right. because dad was a fan okay so dad is still a fan so right yeah that was one reggaeton dance hall they were again in uh, just what they were just add ons to the whole huh. thing so nice and uh, so there's this word one particular word that i feel that either make makes or breaks uh, a business like a bar or a pub or a cafe can you guess kis ki baat kar raha hu crowd yeah, yeah? Mm-hmm. this word and you know i'm again talking हम लोगों के परस्पेक्टिव से जो जाते हैं वहां पे आई थिंक इनडायरेक्टली वी आर द वंस हु डिसाइड कि कौन कितने कितनी देर रहेगी आई गिव यू एन एग्जांपल आई गिव यू एन एग्जांपल देयर इज दिस वेरी फेमस प्लेस जहां के बर्गर्स मुझे बहुत पसंद है अच्छा मैं बहुत अनबायस्ड टू व्हेन इट कम्स टू यू नो सो अब मुझे उस जगह के बर्गर्स अच्छे लगते हैं आई डोंट गिव टू शिट्स कि अगर वो जगह का क्राउड कैसा आ रहा है अनलेस वहां पे लोग रोज आके लड़ नहीं रहे हैं ठीक है सो इट्स डिसेंट इट्स जस्ट नॉट दैट हैपनिंग एनीमोर आई डोंट माइंड बट क्राउड डज राइट दे वांट टू पार्टी सो मैं वहां पे जाया सो आई सेड दिस थिंग इन फ्रंट ऑफ अ गर्ल हु वाज इन टू पार्टी सो आई वाज लाइक डू यू गाइस लाइक बर्गर्स आई या वी लव बर्गर्स सो एंड इट वाज वेरी ऑब्वियस दैट इज द प्लेस दैट सर्व्स बेस्ट बर्गर्स आई लाइक यू यू वांट टू गो देयर नोबडी गोस ओवर देयर एनीमोर I like burger. So yeah, so I think you really have to, you know, keep your game up every single tra- second. So that, that's why I said that we were lucky in 2012. Okay. Social media was at a different level there uh-huh. at that time. It wasn't that overpowering your physical presence. Ab, today, please explain. Please explain. Today, आप एक जगह पे कैसे जाते हो? Hmm. Or when do you go there? You see it on Instagram. Yeah. You see it on Facebook. You see, okay, this food looks like this, or the place looks like this hmm. online, and then hmm. we we'll go there. Yeah. Okay. 
earlier it, it was never the scene Influ- influences on Instagram, their word matters, right? Uh, <laughs> I, 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 I'm guessing that. <laughs> I'm guessing that you've had shitty experiences. With no, 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 they're all good experiences. <laughs> never a shitty experience with them. So yeah, but uh, when like when we started at that time, or during our time when we used to go out as a customer also. Yeah. And today also, I, I follow the same thing. If I'm out of the, uh, the country, I'm going somewhere. I don't. Open the Zomatos of the house or the other trip advisors of the place okay. and check it. Kya hai, kya nahi. Uh-huh. I just see what places are there nearby and what's the harm in checking out a new place. There's yeah. no risk. Yeah. No one's poisoning you, right? Uh-huh. It can be a good experience, it can be a bad experience, but both experiences teach you something. Right. So it's simple. You should go out and try rather than. पहले छह कमेंट पढ़ लिए चार लोगों के फोटोज देखी फिर अच्छा जस्ट बिकॉज दोज पीपल आर गोइंग देर वील गो देर Like it should be your brain and not someone else's acting towards it. So my question is that Rasta has sustained. It is time tested now. Yeah. Because shelf life होता ना. बड़े लोग आते हैं. They are a rage and then it goes down. I think rage सब का नीचे आ जाता है. But then you have to sustain. Yeah. Then you have to. Yours is still doing. Your project is still. I see uh, social media पे Mumbai का Rasta. It's like you know every night. Adapt to adapt to time. Exactly. So what exactly are you doing? That's what I really want to know. Because crowd. लोग कहते हैं ना crowd अच्छा नहीं आ रहा. हाँ. Your theme is very tight. You can't, you know, deviate. yeah, move a lot with yeah. the theme. On that yeah, yeah, exactly. So it's just uh, keep on because we're known for our music. Exactly. We're known for our gigs. Hmm. So keep things fresh there, and that's what attracts people. So by fresh, you will introduce new artists. New artists, different artists, different genres. We've started doing not in Bombay though, but in Delhi, we've started doing a couple of techno gigs also. A, a lot of four by four music. Isn't that? Also. completely opposite completely opposite but you but have to you have to oh yeah oh yeah so i don't do it every week but once a month i call a techno artist at that or we program it like that hmm. that the basic soul or the theme remains the same right but we need to cater to what people want today it's a service industry hmm so do you get heat from the loyal customers that why the hell are you doing this luckily now in delhi we have two floors so we can play them Different music. Oh, and okay, those. okay. So yeah, so, yeah that's so that's yeah. So we can keep yeah, our yeah. colors happy, <laughs> yeah, yeah. and we can keep the other yeah. colors happy. And uh, what about the competition? It's my theory that if you have opened a successful place, I think you bloody well need a place usi locality me which is doing good. That's just my opinion. There what that does is, is yeah. What that does is that increases the footfall of the. Area. of the area right okay. of the area so you need right like, yeah when i started i stood by it and today luckily after 7 years i can still say that in fnb i don't think there is any competition like there is especially, especially in a country like india there isn't any competition to your uh, no, project no, in, or in, there is no competition in, in fnb okay there is there no. are so many people to cater to right where does competition happen as or where does it come in between as that if you own a lounge i own a lounge mm-hmm. okay हमारी प्रॉब्लम वहां पे आती है व्हेन बोथ ऑफ अस वांट टू केटर टू ओनली दोस 200 पीपल राइट इट्स अ नेशन ऑफ व्हाट मोर देन अ बिलियन पीपल ओके ओके यू टेक अबाउट 20% ऑफ देम हु कैन हु हैव द कैपेसिटी टू गो आउट एंड स्पेंड आई एम नॉट टेकिंग 50% आल्सो टेक 20% राइट देन आल्सो देयर आर सो मेनी पीपल राइट राइट बिकॉज़ वी आर इंडिया इज ऑल अबाउट नंबर्स इज सो मेनी पीपल आवर प्रॉब्लम इज दैट मनियो के पास जो 200 लोग जा रहे हैं hmm. मेरे को वो सेम 200 लोग सेम वही चाहिए वही चाहिए क्योंकि वही पार्टी बनाते हैं अच्छा सो दैट इज दैट इज वेयर द लुक आउट चेंजेस राइट कस्टमर्स आर कस्टमर्स वाले कोइंग आउट दे स्पेंड इट राइट राइट एंड देयर इज अ मार्केट फॉर एवरी एवरी लाउंज एवरी बार एवरी रेस्टोरेंट दिस राइट प्रोवाइडेड यू आर फोकस्ड ऑन व्हाट यू वांट टू डू टुडे इफ आई स्टार्ट कॉपिंग यू देन आई एम नो डिफरेंट फ्रॉम यू Yeah. Then why would a customer come to me? Hmm. That's where the difference is. And how do you do? You ever choose who will enter, who will not? Of course, you have to maintain. Our music policies uh, do that half the time for us. I I didn't get that. Well, like how? Like uh, we don't play a lot of mainstream music. Okay. We are a little on the what do you say? Not underground end, but a little different. Um, right. Hmm. Okay, a lot of regular. We don't do any Bollywood or Hindi Not music. Yeah, Not like wrong. Hindi, Hindi we do. Hindi we don't. Un- unless nuclear is, nuclear is playing. Like that's <laughs> what Hindi we do. Yeah. Hindi music, <laughs> like homegrown artists who are singing in their own, like either mother tongue or right. Hindi or that matter. That is still welcome, but no commercial, commercial Bollywood. Well, like we don't do that. Yeah. So half the janta who wants to listen to that mm. has already filtered. 
right right hmm. so how the crowd control happens that hmm. <clears throat> then obviously there are certain things so that i i want to talk about those certain things i know we can't you we <laughs> opened our first place in delhi baba <laughs> <laughs> See, see, for example, Karen. She has no idea what Hoskar's village is. Who kiss time was? 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 was. was. Yeah, exactly. Was. So another thing that I really why did you pull out if you are uh, willing to share from Hoskar's? Is the to be very honest, it was not to do with the sales. It was not to do with the market or anything on that front. We had to move out because the Rasta being our first venture mm-hmm. and Rasta being very very music based. Right. Okay. I would not name, but a very. a couple of my close friends who are artists artists okay told me that we would not like to do an event in hoskar's village in your place anywhere yeah. as like why this they told me that as much as we love you huh. okay we'll charge you we'll charge you next amount to come to your place and play i hmm. like right like none of my friends will come to hoskar's village to Even see, see me or play. listen to me or anything okay so then there's no point you investing in me and not getting any return out of that that's So that, in fact, yeah, that was that was be, he being very practical. And their reason was because of the kind of people. Yeah, because the market had changed. Hmm. Hey, you can't dodge, man. Because <laughs> the market had changed. <laughs> but so yeah, so anything that you want to not tell people, you can't change anyone. Fuck it. But you know, what do you expect as a proprietor, as the owner of the place? Uh, you know, people create a havoc, and that is uh, yeah. Oh, what? Not the owner partner. Oh, yeah, <laughs> my bad. I think my partner. Yes, yeah, partner. So I, I, what's your bro's name like? Uh, Rahul. Rahul. Yeah. So Rahul and you, what do you guys expect uh, from the people who are coming? Because even that's important. You see, for the first time, I'm talking to someone who owns a place, who runs a place in partnership, right? <laughs> in partnership. So people should actually listen to this and at least take something from it. There must be some guidelines. See, or something. one should go out to have fun and not go out. That today I will go out and I will have ten grand tomato reviews. Right, right. Yeah, I will go to the advertiser and write ten such things that I will enjoy in this place. So, you, have you ever had people who actually hunt for such things? That they get. I have gotten threatened at the gate. My staff has gotten threatened at the gate that if you don't give me entry, I'll put a one star on Zomato right now and okay. I'll write a bad review. And what was the reason why they would stag or what? Maybe could be anything. Could be anything. Could be anything. Yeah. Could be a drunk guy standing at the gate. Right. He's like, if you don't let me in, hmm. I'll write a bad review. And I'm sure they must have done that. Yeah. Yeah. People yeah. <laughs> But because going out is an experience. Hmm. Okay. We used to go out. For a change, that okay, you're 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 sitting at home, eating every day at home. So you need a change. Hmm. Go out. That right. was an experience. Right. Today people are like, okay, we want to write reviews. We want to do this. We want to rate a place. Yeah. We'll go out. We'll sham ten places, and then we'll become bent. Yeah. Yeah. So I remember you mentioned non-serious players. What yeah. were you talking about? Because I I'm not in the line. So yeah, what were you talking about? In your See, life, this industry has suffered a little bit okay. because that, like any any new industry in uh, India, hmm. there was a time when there were only warehouses opening up, right? Okay. Like okay, it's it's follow the herd kind of a mentality yeah, that yeah. we guys have usually. Huh. So there was a time when there were only warehouses or storage houses that were opening up. There was a time when only banquet halls were opening yeah, up. Yeah, right. I remember a, the banquet halls. Yeah, yeah, there was a time when only hotels were. Opening. Right, popping up. So that was the industry. Somehow it just looks like we are talking about Jammu right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's not just that. It happens everywhere. It's not just that. Who's right. it? Right. So, uh, so th- that's when the that particular industry was growing. Huh. And F and B has been growing for the past what three, four years now. Right. Okay, and it's not that heavy a capital intensive product. Okay. Okay, to make a decent sized lounge, I'm right. talking about players from. Warehousing or players from banquet buildings hall. or banquet halls, like who are builders or banquet halls or this and that, whose like per per project cost is about about three hundred cr, four hundred uh-huh. cr, two hundred cr. Uh-huh. To open a bar, it takes about two cr. So you compare. So he's that, just putting money, pumping money to open a place. That's it. Yeah, exactly. Now there's a new fad in Delhi, Uber. Okay. Okay. That is that. Uh, बच्चे की शादी कराने के तो रेस्टोरेंट खोल दे तो कुछ तो काम करता है. Ah. Bar खोल दे. हाँ. But uh, at a lot of places that happen. Okay. So what do you do? I have a lounge. Right. Shadi ho gayi. Six months mein lounge band ho gaya. Wo apne apne baap ke dhande mein baat. It's like जैसे वकील बनते थे पहले क्या कर रहे हैं वकील हैं. हाँ lounge खोल दिए. खोले lounge. 
Right. So yeah, that that happens a lot these days because it's not that like if you see a person coming from that stature, yeah. it's not hard for him who can invest a two hundred crore yeah. uh, in in a in a project yeah. to so investing two crores or two and a half crores is not so a big deal for him. Yeah, yeah. So so how does so it that's why a lot of who's passionately doing it. Like how, I know it takes away. I'll tell you, I'll yeah. you an example where okay, you come from a background where three hundred four hundred crores don't matter. Okay. I come from a background where one two crores also matter. Right. So okay. I'm a serious player huh. in this. Right. I opened a launch. Hmm. Okay, right next door you opened a launch. Hmm. Okay, you saw me. I thought, okay, 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 okay. So I'll copy the same thing. That hmm. now things didn't work for you. For the one who pumped more money. Yeah. Okay. It didn't work for you. Yeah. So what you started doing was okay. Who two hundred rupees ki bear bech raha hai. Right. Okay. Me date chogi bech. Right. Maine kya. What you have to do is you have to book losses for six months. Okay. Okay. I'll book what? I'll book. He's making ten lakh rupees. I'll book twenty lakh rupees of losses, but yeah. I'll sell at half the rate what he's doing. So that you're getting people. Yeah. Huh. So. So yeah. what happens is, uska utha nahi utha. Huh. That is secondary. Tumara gira. Tumara gira. Right. Yeah, na? Right. But you can't even stop it. I mean, yeah, it's like, so it's it's tough for people who are really into it. Yeah. Yeah, and music. That's your thing. Like you came from music. This whole idea came from music. So you want to talk about evolution of music. How does it affect your industry? How does your passion get involved? See, music is like uh, seasons. Ah, okay. interesting. It's more like seasons. Interesting. Right? It's like flavor of the month. Okay. Okay. So genre of the season is what happens. Huh. Like there was a time when India was very heavy on heavy bass or. Like bass music, right? Okay, it is still, but right. it has settled. Yeah. Like there are now serious followers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There are there are genres like hip hop which are everlasting. Like yeah. Be it any age group, be it anything. Right. Okay, people listen to like Tupac is still Tupac for Legend, people, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. So, but now these days, if you, I don't, I'm not that sure about this part of the country, yeah. but majorly Nathan is more to do with techno these days. Like for the past one, one and a half years, See, more. Yeah. I, yeah, everyone's after techno nowadays. So that's what happens with music. It's again flavor. What it goes, it comes. It goes, it comes. There was a time when I was very big in this country, mm. like when people like Goa girl and everyone used to. Yeah, be Goa had a major influence no, on Goa. Goa is the artist. No, no, Goa. Yeah. I'm Goa, Goa, had Goa. A, Goa had a. When it comes to Sai, Goa girl was the big man in Goa yeah. when it comes to dark trance and all, right? Yeah. So that's what I'm saying that. Music does rounds, right? So it it is the flavor of the season right now. Hmm. And since you you know host so many artists, any artist that you think we should look up to upcoming, it's okay if you want to. There are a lot of them. Your personal favorite genre. who's coming? Because I I remember I I so since we are talking about nuclear guy, I don't know whether you want to talk about that guy. No, no, why not? Yeah, he's he's, he's a friend. So yeah. so, so this guy. I saw him for the first time uh, जब uh, David Guetta uh, गुड़गांव आया था अच्छा. years ago और तब he and Duelist Sahaj Bakshi yeah. both of them were playing together like not together but one after yeah. the other yeah and then David Guetta showed up so I liked Sahaj Sahaj Bakshi's music he was good with the guitar it was new refreshing yeah. then came this guy Nuclear and that was my first experience so जब you know how he plays right what kind of music he plays so मेरे दिल से निकला ये क्या दिलेर बंदी music बजा रहा है so that was my first yeah. experience yeah. and you won't believe Uh, when did this happen? Uh, Zoma Land. Two weeks ago. Two weeks ago, there was this event, right? Zoma Land, and this guy was playing. So that event, Gurgaon, and maybe after I don't know six, seven, eight, or ten years, maybe. I have seen him here. Bro, I became a fan. I don't know. That, that guy is an artist. Is a good artist. See, that that's where the difference is. Okay, as customers, right? Okay, we guys, we guys live in the moment. We guys want this, right? Right. Yeah. But he was ahead of his time. He that, knew, yeah, he knew, yeah, that, that's what I he said. He knew you. how to how to catch the pulse of people. Like, okay, yeah, right, this will right. this will sell. Give it six months, it will sell. Yeah, and he proved it. Yeah, and he he is an ace artist. Okay, is. I respect him a lot. He's an ace artist. He did what he is. I think today he's the biggest musician of the country. Like in in one, one of the, the yeah one of the biggest. Of, yeah, yeah. Artist, he's done rounds everywhere. He's played in US. He's played in Mexico. Yeah. Wherever he's, he's played, play? he's played. He's played everywhere. Yeah. And like the kind of following that guy has, hmm. and I've been one of the lucky guys who's seen his journey. Right. 
yeah true right. like from 2012 hmm. okay his was the first game that we did at us right like he practically opened rasta for us oh so. nice nice so i didn't know that so 2012 i still remember the 8th of september 2012 was his first game at rasta and we opened rasta yeah so since then till now i've seen the entire journey like in bits and pieces i've been a part of the journey because because i have a lounge and we used to call him more often right. at that time he was more affordable that yes <laughs> yeah. so, so but uh, yeah like kudos to guys i like him that they they break the stereotype they don't want to do the regular shaadi mein ja ke baja liya aur ye chal liya aur matlab pehle at our time when we were younger yeah. like we still young but when we were younger <laughs> so at that, that time डीजेज का जॉब यही होता था क्या कर रहे हो या किसी के कॉकटेल पे बजा रहे हैं या हाँ, शादी पे बजा हाँ, रहे हैं क्लब सीन तो दिल्ली में बहुत बाद में आए लाइक प्रॉपर प्रॉपर वे यू यूज टू एक्नोलेज डीजेज टिल डेट पंजाब में बाबा यू डोंट प्ले सॉन्ग एट वेडिंग जम्मू में ना शादियों में अगर ढोली या ढोल बजा रहा बंद करे तो उसको बाहर पड़ती थी बड़ी कई शादियों go out of their way hmm. okay to to make a difference in the in the field they are in right and you know what actually uh, you know complements his uh, music is his behavior when he's not playing or you know his personality why because his music is very gimmicky you know there's a lot of people <coughs> going on videos karta hai wo ramdev modi wo exercise stretch wo sab kar raha hai sath mein aur wo funky sab beats pe chala raha hai allowed to say the n word Yeah, I, 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 I to do, I to do. Okay, I, I look up to that man, so I know many people don't, but yeah, I, I take it. Stop right. pointing towards me. He's still looking at me. <laughs> so, 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 uh, this guy. So when I saw a few interviews or his videos on YouTube, so looks like he's into the music, not just for you know, fame, ladkiya, party. Where's that? I'm sure there are. I'm, I'm sure there are many players who do that, right? Could be. could be yeah. so so yeah like the undercurrent so uh, business to land <laughs> but anyway so this guy is uh, you know uh, you know a full blooded artist he is he has that aura when he talks music you can actually feel so yeah so so i and anyway, <coughs> that guy has established so it you whatever you say won't change his stand right or whatever yeah. so any upcoming that we should you know youtube or search for anyone Who yeah, morning only I made you search Kone Kone. Kone Kone. Kone Kone. Kone Kone. I I don't know him personally, but I love his music, and I think if if he gets the right kind of guidance, right. if he gets the right kind of path, he'll do very well. Right. Would you like to host him ever? Is he that kind of music? We'll be hosting him in March and April. Oh, he's supposed to say that. We can edit that if you want us no, to. No, it's fine. Pop up. It's fine. You're announcing the dates there. Right. It's fine. <laughs> Awesome. So there's a one more act that I really respect. Okay, they come from Chennai. Okay, it's called Sapta. Sapta, Sapta. as in week. Yeah. Okay. S A P T A. Hmm. Like there are very few acts that I've seen which are more electric than them. Really? Yeah. They have that kind of energy. Sapta. Okay. I I love both them. Uh, how they play, what what chemistry both them have, and. The knowledge of music that these guys have—it's—it's it's amazing. Okay. I know they've already made a mark in the industry. Mm. They're not upcoming, okay. but immense potential. Right. And since it's all about Rastafarian culture, you know where I'm going, right? Let's just say <laughs> that <laughs> you know cannabis gets legalized, marijuana gets legalized. Let's I'll stop selling alcohol. Huh? I'll stop selling alcohol. You stop. That's what I really wanted to know. How will it affect your business? You, so I mean, I think it should increase many folds, man. It will, right? I think many people. It's a direct relatability. Yeah, yeah, to your theme as well. Yeah, yeah, I like yeah. when this part we talk about the green aja tiye sab kyun mein jo nahi hona chahiye. I personally feel ki jo nahi hona chahiye, it should be people should come and talk about it. And you know, it's it's not a taboo. It's been used ever since in our medications and everything. And like today also, hmm. okay. I don't know if you guys are aware of it or not. Uh, growing marijuana or growing cannabis for medical purposes is legal in Uttarakhand. In Uttarakhand, yeah. Okay. There are licensed farmers who grow. You, you, you sent me that Microsoft 
socially it's acceptable to drink hmm. alcohol or to smoke tobacco. if i have to get drunk i just need to step out and buy a bottle so of beer it's or whatever socially it's acceptable to smoke <clears throat> tobacco right socially it's uh, acceptable to drink right. but socially it's not but if i have to get high i have to talk to shady people like alpha charlie mango tango right, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right? i don't want to do that man I, and you know what i i i don't like the fact that many we call them stoners but i just you know even stoner word brings wrong connotations you know uh, obviously so people who like it's like sharabi yeah sharabi yeah you know one but people fun. take pride in that yeah i have bevda hu i have sharabi itni peeta hu main itni peeta hu chachi bula diya to bhai now another thing that you know even people who do smoke right smoke up i i really think that they take this ki uske medicinal bade wo hai wo they should fucking come up and own the fact that okay they like smoking up and they should it's, for recreation it no, should get legalized for recreation as well it's more to do with your acceptance in society uh uh-huh. that's why you want to prove a point right. and that's why you want to put your put the best foot forward right ke are nahi iski addiction nahi hoti you a person if you will talk to a person who smokes up on a regular basis yeah. he'll start like that uh-huh. okay ke cigarette ki addiction hoti hai chares ki addiction nahi hoti hai right yeah. so all of these things like because what they want to be acceptable in the society hmm. they want to be accepted in the society right, right. that okay theek hai karta hai but it theek hmm nahi to log bolta hai isse kaam nahi karna bhai nashe de hmm this is what happens right yeah, yeah, yeah. so that is the approach that is why people want to clarify themselves hmm. iski addiction nahi hote hai iske medical hmm. purposes hai iske ye hai iske right. wo hai so it is fine jo hai because i also feel that india it will be very stupid if we do not tap into this market because west mein us mein athletes and all even normal people they are getting extreme benefits from cbd not thc but cbd we aren't even you know, cbd oil massages and all of, it's not consumption also yeah, it's, it's not a, consumption it's used for joint pains and all of why are we being so stupid about it i mean i i have i told you right ki mereko lagta hai ki agle 4 saal mein ho jayega mujhe aisa lagta hai i right. feel ha <laughs> it's more to do with when other countries are doing it right where the countries we look up to look up to yeah hmm all right मेरे पापा ने भी सब्सक्राइब किया ये चैनल वैसे आई एम जस्ट सेइंग सो ये भी आपने देखा ये दिल के लिए आप आज के लिए एक अच्छा रिक्रिएशन सो जॉय सिंह रास्ता वो फ्यूचर प्लान्स मुझे जानने हैं व्हाट वेयर आर यू प्लानिंग टू व्हाटएवर यू वांट टू शेयर बट करेंटली व्हाट आर यू लाइक वेयर आर यू ऑपरेटिंग लाइक व्हाट एल्स बिसाइड्स द रास्ता फॉर इन बार एंड कैन देयर आर थ्री ऑफ देम ंग Either right side or uh-huh. there are some people who that is still pending and all right. those things but yeah uh, i would consider and i would like to acknowledge the fact that the brand is ours now it's yours yeah, yeah. and uh, i last i checked it was there, there were two outlets right now there's one now there's, there's one. only one in hostel there's okay. no other yet okay if there's any other that's a fake one that's right. not the real one okay okay yeah. So now they say we are. Do they really like the buns? I know it's taste like yeah, yeah. They do. They look like who? A koi dog? No, that is which is very good. I know. Dog. You have to compare food to a dog. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. It looks like who? Chote. Who? Punk. Seri. Chote. Hote na. Just to think. Layers. Hote. 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 उटलेट 
Bombay. Why aren't you tapping into Pune? I know you said that the rasta or a pa, uh, there, are, there are so many rastas in Pune. Yeah. <laughs> open, right? yeah. Oh, that's what I'm saying. That, <laughs> but I, I personally, since you're a bro, right? I want you to come to Pune with something, at least Yeti or something. I mean, you should, right? No, Pune. Uh, I would. Pune wants you. I, 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 I would do a rasta in Pune first. Okay. So just to is that a declaration that okay I will that do. that that that's more like a statement that Dude, what Rasta nice. stands for and what Rasta what Rasta the actual be. actual Rasta should be okay okay so we are we are older than the the ones that are there in Pune okay. right now so and that is also owned by a friend's friend so it's not that I don't know the person right so uh, Yeti is uh, so it's just Tibetan food right and it's uh, not just Tibetan hmm. it's the entire market. Himalayan bread, it's right. from Tibetan, Nepalese, Bhutanese, Assamese, okay. a bit of everything. Right, yeah. right. And uh, I really want to know about the concept that you started in Connaught Place. That still hasn't started. So, so what we did, uh, again, uh, works of being in this country. Right. So that was about three years back then that we finished the launch, like uh-huh. it was done. Uh-huh. Food tasting was done, everything we applied for license, right. everything was done. Right. And suddenly we got to know that the building got stuck and uh-huh. some legal, like some issue with one of the uh, bodies, uh-huh. let's uh, just say right. one of the government bodies. Right. And uh, for the past three years, we've been waiting to open that place. Okay. At that time, we were calling it permit room. Permit room. But uh, sadly, we'll have to change the name now okay. if we open uh-huh. because there's a permit room that exists in Bangalore now. Okay. That's about three years old. Okay. So, yeah, it's we'll have to change the name and the concept. Right. And yeah, th- those are the existing. So what are you planning? Future is uh, some expansions with uh, Yeti, some okay. new outlets. I think this year we might do uh, an outlet of Rasta, but uh, I'm staying a little away from alcohol. Okay. Uh-huh. Until the center election, so let's see what happens in the center election. And then we'll stay, a, when you say stay away from alcohol, as in licensing. Yeah, okay. like opening more alcohol-based outlets. Okay, okay. Yeah, right. until the time this whole... Election made is over. Right. So let's that, makes that. that makes sense. That makes sense. Okay, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got the idea. Yeah. 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 And uh, I think bro, we've covered everything. Anything that you want to share? You, you, and you found the love of your life in Rasta. I. That's just. That, that's that, a, that happened by accident. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, it, it, I. I want to know. That. Uh, she just come back from UK at that time. Uh, you didn't know her at all. No. No. I met her through, uh, her name is Manna. Huh. So I met th- her through a common friend. Okay. So one afternoon we were, we were sitting in Rasta. So she came with one of her friends uh-huh. and uh, Manna wanted to actually work with Rasta. Okay. As a graphic designer. As a graphic designer. So, <laughs> so Kesha, three, 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 three months down the line, three months down the line we got married. You gave her a project, graphic yes. design. Yeah. Why don't you design my wedding picture uh, album? <laughs> uh, why don't you design my life? <laughs> oh, <that's laughs> nice. That's too easy. Heavy, <laughs> heavy, heavy. Yeah, that's how you get like the woman of your life. When you have to be very cheesy. Probably right? once. Yeah. <laughs> Bro, uh, any advice to people who are going to get into the line? Anything? See, it might be a bit old because I've said it every time I've sat, every time I've sat in an interview or given an interview Mm. like this or any bite, I've always said one thing. That whichever line you work in, whatever you do, just stay what you're focused on. Like, stay original. Do not see that you're doing something nice and you're doing well, so I will be able to do the same thing copying you. Right. Okay, mm. stay focused and it happens a lot a lot when it comes to F and B industry because people's patience levels are really, really low. Mm. That when you, okay, when yeah. you say people yeah. young consumers. Uh no. I mean the owners. Mm. People who are launching or getting into a new business. Okay. 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 What they do is okay, that XYZ place is done really well. Mm. Let's copy the entire thing, mm. okay, get half of their staff mm. with better salaries mm. and in six months we'll be able to beat them. Right. Okay, on the other hand, it should be what you want to do. Mm-hmm. Okay, this is the concept I want to follow. This right. is how I want to get into the service industry. One. And second, instead of beating them, think about joining them. There are too many people in this country. Okay. I, I'll give you an example. So, these vegan restaurants, right? So, I spoke to a few uh, people who own Purane vegan restaurants. Their thing is different. They somehow form a community. There's like a lot of mutual respect. There's no, you know, cutting each other's neck in the business. There's just like, so maybe something like that. So yeah, I grow, you grow. 
एग्जैक्टली बिकॉज अगेन वी डोंट स्टे इन अ प्लेस लाइक न्यूजीलैंड एंड समवेयर जहां पे मतलब एक गांव में हजार बंदा रहता है 500 बंदा रहता है यहां पे पत्थर उठाओ तो 10000 बंदा निकलता है पत्थर के या राइट थैंक यू फॉर डूइंग दिस विद अस ब्रो थैंक यू सो मच आई हैड फन नो नो इट्स ओके हाय थैंक्स ब्रो थैंक यू